what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Roundup. As always, I'm David Cantu and today we have some pretty interesting news for you guys. So let's get started. We have some pretty big news to report involving The Walking Dead finale. This is an exclusive report that comes from a source that will go unnamed, obviously. We all pretty much know that somebody is going to die in this Sunday season 6 finale of The Walking Dead. But the big question is who? And this is fair warning. If you do not want to know what's going to happen this Sunday, then go ahead and fast forward through this video right now. Okay, so I received an email last night around 11.30 from a friend of mine that's a production assistant on The Walking Dead. Now he told me that we are going to be treated to a fake out. That we'll see Carl be the one taking the bat to the head. But he's not going to be the only one. Somebody's going to try to step in and defend him and end up suffering the same fate. And that person is none other than Rick Grimes himself. I know, it sounds insane, but it's true. There were photos attached to the email that had me just as shocked as everybody is hearing this right now. Now I can't post these photos here obviously, but there is a link in the description that may or may not have these photos for your viewing. Just saying. It's an extremely brave thing to do to kill off a main character in a show. And you can't help but wonder how long is this show going to survive without him. Now I don't have any details on why this was done, but I do know one thing. April Fools! <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I can barely keep a straight face. <laughs> Let's get to the real news. Comics are notorious for killing off characters left and right. Yeah, I know, for the most part they don't normally stay dead, but the events usually still grab people's attention. Well, it looks like Marvel's heading down that road once again with the death of X. What does it all mean? Well, your guess is as good as mine. All we got was this graphic that shows a bloody X. No explanation, no plot summary, nothing whatsoever. But that doesn't mean that we can't grasp at some straws here. I mean the obvious guess is that somebody associated with the X-Men is going to bite the bullet. Wouldn't be the first and without a doubt it will not be the last. It is entirely possible and there's plenty of candidates to consider, but I think my next guess is going to be more likely. I think that they're going to exterminate mutants. Yes, again. But I think this time they're going to go a bit bigger than what they did with House of M. I'm thinking that they're going to do something that's going to exterminate the X gene from all mutants altogether. Yep, all mutants will be gone. Except for possibly a sprinkle of some here and there. I mean, we've already got hints in the past that they're taking a backseat to the humans. Why you ask? Because Fox ultimately owns the film rights to the X-Men properties. And Marvel doesn't want to promote something that they can't sell movie tickets for. The X-Men have always been my favorite since I first got into comics at the tender age of 9, so I hope that they're not phasing them out, but it's certainly starting to look that way. The Death of X event will happen in the fall of 2016, so we'll know for sure then. By now everybody out there has probably seen Batman v Superman, right? Whether you loved it or hated it, there's a petition out there for you to sign. Well, two actually. Two petitions were created recently that offer two fan perspectives. One was created with the intention to convince Warner Brothers to boot Zack Snyder from the Justice League film, and the other one was to keep him on board. I mean, this is pretty insane to me. I honestly liked the film for what it was, and at the same time, I did have my issues with it. But at no point would I want to take somebody's job away from them. It's a ridiculous scenario to think about, but do people think that a petition like this would even be considered? The movie so far has made around $500 million worldwide. I mean, if you were in the shoes of some of the suits over at Warner Brothers, would you want to let Snyder go? And on top of that, that would mean bringing all the other DC properties to a screeching halt. And I don't think that they would want to jeopardize their upcoming slate of films. I mean, you could argue and say, well, the man doesn't need a job, his pockets are lined with cash. But the way I look at it, this is basically a digital stoning. I would say that if people want to make a difference, keep talking about what you didn't like about the film and what you would do better. I'm positive that if enough people get their voice heard, things will get changed. I mean, it was the critics and fans that got Snyder to consider the collateral damage in Man of Steel. Come on, people, work together. First off, I'm sorry about the terrible April Fool's joke, but what's your guess on the Death of X storyline? Do you think Marvel is going to do away with all mutants altogether? And what about Zack Snyder? Do you feel like he should get booted off of Justice League or should he stay on? Or do you even care? Let me know in the comments below. Click on this April Fool to subscribe to this channel. Give us a thumbs up while you're there. And if you can, share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching another episode of The Roundup. We'll catch you next time.